may be wondering why I'm in the driver's seat of a 72 passenger school bus. That is kind of a long story. Let's, let's start at the beginning. For years, I have wanted to build a tiny house. I've looked at container homes, trailers, earth homes, bunkers, and all kinds of crazy options for tiny houses. The issue is the state that I live in isn't really the most friendly towards tiny houses. Not only that, but I share custody, which makes things a little bit harder. I had heard of people converting school buses, but not for full-time living. So, the moment I found out, I went ahead and went on KSL, which is Utah's version of Craigslist, and I found a bunch of different buses for sale. Then there was one I found that was a little bit overpriced, but it was half converted. So when my daughter and I found this bus, we went into ultra mega research mode, trying to see if this really was a lifestyle that we wanted to go for. We watched all kinds of YouTube videos, we read forums, we did all kinds of research, and I even found a model of the bus that we were looking at, downloaded it into SketchUp, and made a floor plan to try and figure out what the best way would be to lay it out and if we'd actually have space for everything we needed. So Ava and I have been talking about names for the bus. A few of the names we've come up with were Big Thunder, referencing Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland, because when I'm driving... This is the wildest ride! Ava wants it to be named Night Bus, like Harry Potter. Welcome to the Night Bus, emergency transport for a stranded witch or wizard. But it's not a double decker bus, and I'd rather not have to deal with any kind of copyright issues. We were talking the other day, and while making plans, we ended up coming up with the official name for our bus. We are brainstorming for the bus. So far, we've talked about a few ideas, right? One that we could go camping, and we what? Watch a movie and eat fresh ice cream. Yeah, we'd have an ice cream maker ready to go while we're camping. And we talked about the idea of putting on Harry Potter, the one where they're in the forest with all the spiders. Why spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? That's the second movie. Mm -hmm. It's Harry Potter. As and we're in the forest. Oh, would that be spooky? <laughs> it would make me feel like there was spiders walking. Yeah. Me. Remember when we went camping on the beach? You and I sat by the water. And you were like, Daddy, it's making the sound that Google makes. <laughs> because you didn't know that that's just the sound of the ocean. But we could park with your room towards the water and open the window so that you could hear the water all night long. Um, I do like the sound of birds. In the morning, you wake up from your comfy, comfy bed and you just heard the sounds of birds chirping. And you said you wanted Google in your room, right? Yes, so like a bookshelf by my feet. And what else would you want on your bookshelf? Books. Books? <laughs> Crazy! <laughs> you put books on a bookshelf? And stuffies. Although we could put those in a net above the bookshelf. And you want a little tiny door in your room, right? A little barn door. A barn door that yeah. slides closed? Yeah. And you want starry skies, don't you? You're saving up your allowance for it? Um, yeah. Yeah? I wondered if we could, like, stick a memory foam to my wall. Not memory foam, but there's another kind of sound canceling foam that we could put around your room to make it super quiet. And to make it more comfy. We're yeah. going to put all the cool ideas we can into this bus. Are you excited for this? Mm-hmm. And once we buy the bus, we'll have to name it. I think we should name it Night Thunder. What about the Night Oh, I think we figured it out. Night thunder. <laughs> Pound it. High five. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I love you, Ava. So I went and I visited the bus. It turns out the guy who originally bought it, he bought it for $8,000 and put about 2,500 in mechanical work and probably about 5,000 in supplies and stuff into this bus. So I don't know the whole story, but the owner of the bus had it sitting on his friend's land and it's been there for about a year or two. I'm not exactly sure. And he's been busy with other projects. I guess he's building a cabin and doing some other stuff. So it's just been sitting here and he told his friend, hey, just list the bus, sell it for what you can. I visited, I had some concerns about the bus. Uh, I was worried about the fact that the layout was already set. So that was definitely limiting what I could do with a bus because I was basically stuck on his floor plan. Additionally, it was, it was dirty. It was, you know, sitting there for a while. I might need to get new tires, stuff like that. And so I was able to talk him into $5,500 plus an old Mac that I had lying around. My daughter is so excited. She's been watching all kinds of bus videos on YouTube with me and is getting really excited about the build. All right, it is the night before we get the bus and somebody is excited at 10.30 at night after going to bed at 8 p.m. Somebody still can't sleep. And we have to be an over an hour away at 7 a.m. to go pick up the bus. So, <sighs> you think she's excited? I used to wake up at like 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. to go to school. Yeah, we're going to have to wake up earlier than that. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. <laughs> So I went to check on Ava around midnight to make sure that she was in bed and she was comfortable and all of that. I slowly open her door and I just hear her spring out of bed and she yells, bus time? So we are leaving at about six in the morning to meet the owner. He's going to go ahead and follow us down with the bus and then he'll give us a ride back up to our car. Hey Ava, guess what time it is? driving his bus for the first time. passenger school bus. There's a street around the corner from our apartment where there are no houses at all. So it's it's just an empty street. They had planned on it going through and then the person who was going to sell the land never did. So there's no houses on it. It's out of sight from, from my house. But if I needed to, 
I could run a power cord out to the bus. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the journey of us building this bus. I wasn't originally planning on making a YouTube series. I had just been recording for, just for the heck of it, just for the memories. So you'll have to forgive in the first stages, a lot of the clips are very shaky. They're Ava holding the camera or it being propped up in random places and it wasn't ever meant to be posted publicly, but here we go.